What's up guys, welcome back to another video of Future Aquariums, Nathan here, and today my Diablo Wave Maker stopped working again. Uh, this happened to my old one, and it just, I got this one as a replacement, and I've had this replacement pump for like, uh, not a year yet, so it's a little too soon for it to be breaking down, and I'm, I'm not really willing to go out and buy another one. So today, I'm gonna try this method where it's really popular online and you can see like I'm trying to give the um, impeller a head start by giving it a little spins but it's really just not working so the really popular method online is just to replace the ceramic ring and everything and you can see like all my powers plugged in there's nothing wrong so I'm gonna be replacing the ceramic ring with uh, airline tubing and we'll see if that works guys so you might have seen this modification a lot online so i'm just gonna try it and see if it really works and if it'll fix my jibao pump i did not have this for that long and i don't want it to die just yet i don't want to get a new one because this stuff is pretty pricey for me so I'm, I'm gonna try to fix it and this is all you need your actual pump uh your airline hose and scissors so I'll just show you guys what it's like inside and show you guys a modification. All right guys, so first things first is you're gonna wanna break down the pump and see what's inside. So once you have the casing open, you'll have this uh, rubber thing. I dropped in the sink, but this is just from my other pump as you probably saw from my other video. So you will want to take out the actual impeller. With this, there's a ceramic tube that you can probably hear. We're gonna try to get it out with this uh, tube. Careful not to break it though. Alright guys, so this is the ceramic uh, little placeholder that I was talking about. And basically, it's supposed to go like this. And there's this rubber piece around that I can't seem to get out, but it's in here. You guys probably can't see it though, because I don't know about the lighting. Yeah, you guys can't see it. But there's a rubber hole in there that holds this thing which in turn this thing goes into. So basically what we're gonna try to do is gonna replace this with a similar size the airline hose and that'll help uh, decrease the friction. But I just got an idea and I wanna see if it works or not. Since this thing is already in like inside a rubber hose, maybe if we can just take uh, the ceramic piece out, maybe it'll just work without it. So I'm gonna go try that and if it works, That'll be the end of this video, but if not, uh, I'll show you guys the actual original. Alright guys, well we're back from the tank and it didn't work. I don't know why it didn't work, but it just didn't work. So if you guys have the same idea as me, uh, it didn't work. So, well I mean it might work for you, but it didn't work for me. So, we're just going to go on with the original modification. So once again, I'm going to take it apart and get to this uh, middle. All right guys, so I got all my pieces laid out. We're just gonna cut a little hole from the uh, airline tubing, a little bigger than this. And then we're gonna put it on the ceramic stick and shove it back in. So ho hopefully this works. Okay, so from what I've seen, a little piece this big should be enough. So we're gonna put it all back together. All right guys, so now we're just gonna try to put this airline hose, it should fit like this, but I think I need to get the rubber gasket out first. All right guys, so I couldn't get the rubber gasket out. So instead, and I, I tried putting the uh, airline hose in directly and try to push it in, but it was too long. So I decided to cut that piece in half. Well, not really in half, but uh, I'm gonna be just like, taking out the rubber gasket was way too hard. So I'm, I'm just gonna be trying to like, uh, put it in directly like this, through the ceramic uh, stick, and then we'll get it in and then let's see if it works properly. All right, well, everything's put back together, the airline hose is inside. So now let's go back and plug it in and please, please hope that it works. Alright guys, so as you can see, even with the new mod, it still wouldn't work, but that doesn't mean you shouldn't try it. I saw other people that tried it and it did work, and I read on forums that it increases the lifetime of your pump. 
but it might exchange some of its power for it though, but you should definitely try it, it's worth a shot. But this did not end in a failure for me because a surprise happened. So out of desperation, I tried seeing if my old pump that broke down a long time ago would still work. And surprisingly, it did work, so it, it ended happily for me. So I've, you, I've changed the ceramic ring on the old pump and used a new airline hose modification on it. So hopefully it'll um, increase its lifetime so I can use my old pump instead of my new one. So that's pretty much it for this video guys, hope you guys liked it, hope you guys enjoyed it, and you guys should definitely try this mod to help your pump.